Epic Ride 2016. Okay, day seven. Headed to Ottawa today, leaving Toronto. And the news is right there. The City Market News. <laughs> Lots of bicycles here. Anyhow, so we're leaving Toronto, headed to Ottawa. People are so beautiful here. Ooh, this is new. What in the world? Did I turn down the thing? I think I did. <laughs> I just went down the train tracks. <laughs> That's a problem. Anyhow, day seven, Peterborough lift lock. Jossies. It's pretty much just a uh, a travel day. I want to race the cable car. Cable car, bicycles. It's a wonderful city, guys. Wonderful city. What in the world? Shady's got to wake up today. Anyhow, look at that. A bridge to nowhere. That's awesome. <laughs> glass bridge. A lot of glass in Toronto. A lot of glass faced buildings. Awesome. This is Bloor. This road's Bloor. This is the, uh, the road that Black Belt World HQ is on. Put on my glasses. I didn't put on my sunglasses. I wonder if I can put on my glasses before it turns green. It's in there. Pull them out. Put them on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And like Flint. Okay, now I can see right into the sun. Oh yeah. I seen this. Wow, that's a road. Look at that building. I saw that yesterday. Tried to get it on the XP70. I think this is like the Rodeo Drive part of uh, Toronto. A lot of people looking at the helmet. <laughs> Shady feels a lot lighter. Said that 40 pounds. Shady feels a lot lighter. That's awesome. I feel it may take me some time to get out of the city. Oh, that building. Wow. What is that? Look at that building, like super ultra new modern to super awesome old antique. Wow, just sitting right here in the middle of the city. Awesome, awesome. There are so many gorgeous people in Canada. Everybody seems to be relatively fit, you know? Not obese like where I come from. And then again, a lot of people walk. A lot of people walk everywhere here or bicycle ride, uh, you know. I mean, right now, even looking out, there are, you know, 100 cars here, but there's 300 people walking around, you know. A lot of people walk, which is very good for you. There's every kind of restaurant you want here. It's a very big city. Look at that building, oh my goodness. Whoa. And I was with Grandmaster Chung yesterday and he was talking about these apartments in here costing half a million dollars left and right people buying them left and right so crazy so beautiful but so it's hard really hard to look at all the buildings and stuff and worry about hitting cars and people for the most part the traffic's pretty sane here like they follow the the stoplights and stuff but when it's green it's green man they get it like see they get it <laughs> see how he pulled up into the uh, the walkway and you got to get out of the way because when it's red for the cars it's green for the people and they just they have the right of way and they're just tons of them just stream across the street yeah and the people are real good about watching the signals for walking also because they know they're gonna get ran over and they don't but once it's green for them or white or whatever it is they go and the cars have to wait for them so it's pretty uh, pretty awesome system everybody gets around pretty effectively. I see trees. That means we must be getting out of the downtown at least. Quite a few motorcyclists here. I wouldn't say it's a majority. Yeah, pretty much a hobby type thing. I saw a gray, like a steel gray metallic colored V-Strom yesterday. Oh my god, that was, that's my bike. That's my bike. Gotta get that bike. I mean, I know I see yellow, but that that metallic painted gray and the, all the crash bars and stuff it looked good it looked good yep so we're out of downtown now 
Headed to the Ottawa's. Headed to the Peterborough lift lock. Headed to gas stations. Wow, what an epic day. Epic day. As I mentioned before, they have the city bikes, share, bike sharing system where you pick it up one place, drop it off another. Really odd place to drop off your bike. Not much here to get to unless you live in those apartments, I guess. Wow. Canada, y'all. Wow. <laughs> Did you see the amount of smoke to come out of that car? Good Lord. Gotta be vaping. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Toronto. Back to the parkway. Now you want to see people go fast? Watch this. Good Lord. They're going to be screaming like their butt's on fire. I definitely got to wash some clothes tonight when I get there. I'm on my last change of everything. I think I got one t-shirt left. Because I sweated so much in Toronto walking around. Just disgustingizing everything. I even sent one of my uniforms back dirty. Oh, see that bridge? We just came across that bridge. That's so beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I think so. Okay, I'll see y'all in a little while. I got about an hour to go until I get some gas. And, you know, interstate looks like interstate. Though it is an exciting interstate, it's not that exciting to watch. More exciting to experience and drive and not die. Yeah? See y'all in a little bit. Look at that. That's fog, right? Or is that rain? Or is that fog, right? I don't see any windshield wipers. I don't think I've ever experienced weather quite like this. It just went from sunny and blue to just gray and cloud. Really close clouds above. Huh. Okay. Keep it on, keep it on. Okay, we're in the north now. Gonna see Jon Snow any minute. He is the white wolf. The king in the north. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I was hoping to wait and get and stop so you could see, but I'm not kidding. I rode through like uh, a cloud for an hour and a half, and it just opened up here. I got some gas, and it just opened up. It was about to get darker, but it's definitely cooler up here. I'm on the verge of not putting on the mesh. I mean, I mean, covering up the mesh. But you know what? I just sent my outer layer back to America. I just shipped it back to America because it was too heavy. And I hadn't used it this whole time. And it's not been nothing but summer and sun and heat. And that was a mistake, y'all. That was a mistake. But I do have my Frog Togs rain thing if I need it if it gets too chilly. But I think it's going to get warmer as the day goes on. Anyhow, Epic Ride Day 7. I stopped here. Got me a Cherry Coke. Everywhere sells Cherry Coke up here. All the convenience stores. I'm so happy. I'm going to have to move to Canada just for some Cherry Coke. We'll find a compelling picture to take for the Instagrams, but I don't really see one. I'm about 20 minutes ahead. Headed to the Peterborough lift lock. Hopefully a boat's going through it or something. Let's see. Let's get a picture of the Shade Meisters. Got me a little caffeine in me. I still haven't eaten breakfast. I gotta remember to eat, y'all. If, if I'm not at a hotel and there's breakfast provided for me, I'm just I'm just so busy, so preoccupied about what goes where and when and what time I gotta be there and all that good stuff. Let me tell you, when I was in Toronto yesterday. I was I was close to dead, close to dead. All right, what was I saying? So in Ohio, I had breakfast at the hotel, a little light breakfast. And I had lunch at Aunt uh, Millie's, I believe. Ooh, I'm on a road. Curvy, kind of curvy, hilly road. All right. Lunch at Aunt Millie's. So then I get into Niagara and had dinner at Margaritaville. So a full day, three meals, good day. Okay? Then I leave from Niagara on the way to Toronto and I stop in Burlington, Ontario and have these tapas. So it's like a little snack lunch kind of thing. No dinner that day. So no breakfast, snack, lunch, no dinner, and no water, no bottles of water, anything, no water, anything. So I get up the next day and I have to wait because I don't have a cell phone connection here in Canada. So I had to wait at my room where there was Wi-Fi in order to, to contact Grandmaster Chung. And so I wait till about noon and finally he, I get it, get it, get it. By the time he contacts me it's time I have to really go right then to meet him because I'm going public transportation and such things so I get there still nothing to eat so now it's been a day a day nothing to eat luckily he takes me to lunch perfect lunch perfect Korean bulgogi lunch 
wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Drunk just a little bit of water with that lunch, a little bit of water. Then I sweat for the next 10 hours, uh, teaching, just helping and teaching and, and uh, just being around Toronto and stuff like that, walking and touring Toronto. Finally, I get another bottle of water about six o'clock at night. So for the whole day that day, I, I sweat all day long. And I had about a bottle and a half of water the whole day. And I was just, I was just out of it. When I finished for the day, I went back to the room. I went to the nearest fast food place I got. And I bought two bottles of water and a Coke. And I drunk them all. <laughs> drunk them all and I slept the best sleep I've ever slept on Epic Ride. So, <laughs> I'm not doing that goal. I'm not trying to get the best sleep ever by not eating. I just, today, like I was at the Airbnb, there's no breakfast around. Um, Toronto's really a evening scene kind of city. Not a lot of breakfast places. So, so far today, I've had a couple swigs of cherry coke. <laughs> I got lunch today about two o'clock, hopefully. I should be losing some weight on that for Then again, I'm really just sitting on a motorcycle. But yesterday I worked my butt off, I sure did. So you don't really burn calories riding on a motorcycle, I guess. Not many calories, but endurance is definitely a factor. You gotta have endurance to do this. Patience. All right, headed to the Peterborough lift lock. I'll see y'all in a minute. Bye-bye. Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. Eventually. Uh. Peterborough lift lock. Oh, them glasses look cool, don't they? Don't them glasses look cool? Well, oh, <gasps> a boat is coming! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Another up top. 